Spencer Lewis for InsideTrackNews.com. We're down here at the at Orlando Speedwell, the Winter Nationals. This is day number three. We're talking all about day number two, though. I'm with Nick Ledson, two-time Ontario Legend Series champion. And Nick, uh, you put yourself in a bit of a hole yesterday in qualifying, rolled off 16th on the grid, but you recovered in an awful hurry, my man. Tell me a little bit about uh, day two at the Winter Nationals. Well, like you said, we qualified 16th way back in the pack out of a 28 or 29 car field. And uh, my plan was just to get the car under me and try and get it warmed up as soon as I could and then just pick cars off one at a time. And uh, we got lucky, we got down low on the first start and made a couple moves up to the front and uh, yeah, we just slowly picked one by one. I mean, it's remarkable how tightly knit, how close in times these, this semi-pro division is. I mean, 28 cars and from first to 28, there's, there's really not a whole lot of variance. Yeah, um, between where I was up from third place on back to I think it was 15th we were all within the same tenth of a second and it was really tight pack racing. Day one you were complaining of a bit of a, a bit of a loose condition couldn't really get the drive off how was the car yesterday was the handling uh, any better? Uh, yesterday we were a bit tight in and then loose off it was like a snapping loose but we got that figured out so far today we're still a bit loose up off and we're about to go qualify soon here so Hopefully, we, we've been doing some spring adjustments, and hopefully it's good. Now, you mentioned having some engine issues at the at the very beginning of the week. Is that something you've been able to, to put in your rear view now? Um, well, it's not so much that we've been lacking in power for engine issues. It's just down when we were in Vegas, it started smoking throughout the race, and it was smoking again in the first race like it was out in Vegas. So we had the engine guys from 600 come look at it, and uh, we switched out a rad, and we've tightened all the lines up to see if it'll stop smoking. But, yeah, we have no lack in power it's just kind of worries us that it's smoking like that first year back to orlando for the winter nationals after having it at auburndale for several years what's the key to victory at a track like this to qualify up front and then get in the clean air as soon as you can and don't look back i mean is it is it a huge adjustment uh, sort of getting into the into the style and rhythm of the qualifying the way they do here as opposed to the heat races that you're used to back in ontario yeah well usually we'll we'll draw a pill before like when we show up and then we'll run a heat race and then invert from there. Down here, they'll put eight or nine of you on the track and you get five laps to just throw down what you can. And I don't know, we've just never, well, we, I just haven't been able to, to get a fast lap in in that five lap span. But hopefully I can just go out there and lay down one good one. Well, a fifth and a sixth place finish in the first two days of competition coming from deep in the field certainly shows that uh, that your car has the speed necessary. I know that none of this happens without the people behind the scenes. Thank the folks that make it possible. My dad, Cavalier Transportation, Lesson Wines, and the team down here, Electric Cars of Florida. There you go, folks. Follow him on Twitter. Get all the information behind the scenes. It's at Nick Letson 15 You got Instagram, too? Yep, same thing. Same thing, Nick Letson 15 Nick, all the best. Thank you for the time, and uh, we'll check out and see how you can do on, on day number three of the Winter Nationals.